Coach Rubin here with your warm up today. Uh, we're going to start with your first round, uh, cycling through a handful of movements. First uh, thing we'll do is one minute of a jog, 30 seconds out and back. Uh, if you're not in a space where you can jog, let's jump rope for a minute, or we can use line hops uh, going uh, side to side today. Uh, second movement is going to be what we call our groiner. We'll do 10 per side. Uh, we'll go out into a nice deep lunge, putting both hands on the inside of your foot. And then we're going to make circles. This is going to be really good to open up that hip. And we'll do 10 in each direction on both sides. Nice, small range of motion, opening up those hips. We'll do your groiner 10 each direction on both sides. Next one's gonna be your reverse lunge, 10 total. We'll do five per side. For your reverse lunge, we'll take your step back, making sure you get a good distance so that your knee's not pushing over the ground. I would like to do these all on one side before we do all on the other side, making sure we get a good step back, not that the knee's pushing forward of our toe. After that, we'll do two 10 forward lunges same thing, making sure we open up a space far enough so that way our knee isn't pushing very forward of our toe. That's your first round. Your second round, we'll do another one minute of run, uh, jump rope, or line hops. This time, going front to back on the line hop. Second movement will be 20 mountain climbers. And for today, we're gonna do our mountain climbers opposite knee to elbow. So instead of coming normally here, we're going to twist one, two, three, four, up to 20 on your mountain climbers. Next one, we're going to do split squat, 10 per side. So it's a stationary lunge in place, uh, focusing on move the upwards and downwards movement, full extension. So this is your split squat. We'll do 10 with one leg forward and then 10 with the other leg forward, focusing on a nice straight up and down movement. Your last warm up movement for today is gonna to be 10 Cossack squats. They're gonna be lateral. You can use the ground if you need to, making sure you have enough space. Ideally, you wanna keep your foot flat on the floor. That's one, two, three, four. If you have to, you can use your hands to help get you side to side. So we'll do 10 Cossack squats for the last part of your warm up. 